Welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo. And these are the most popular color combinations in the Commander format. I am just ranking the popularity of colors in the format and I'm using EDH Rec to do so. I've done this before. I made a video like this about a year and a half ago, but of course things change all the time and man, did they change a lot this year. Probably a lot to do with the amount of content we got last year. I'm doing it the same way I did last time and I think it is interesting to go back and watch that other video to see the changes that there has been and there's been some really significant ones. There was a few surprises when I did that first video but there is even more surprises now. Some of these are actually really shocking for me but of course when you look at the most popular commanders in certain color combination it helps to explain these things. So how I go about calculating this is I take the top 12 commanders from each color combination. And of course I'm talking about all the mono colors as well. I use 12 because I think that's a good enough sort of sample size. And also it gives a more fair representation. I think all of the mono colors have like a hundred plus commanders in them and including all of them, especially the ones that you're just never ever gonna see in a commander game really is sort of just a rounding error. So I don't think there's much point in including them. I will not be including any of the four color combinations of course, because other than the partner combinations for the most part there's only one commander in each one so really it doesn't seem like there's much point in including it but I am this time going to include colorless and the reason why is because now we actually have 12 colorless commanders in the format in fact exactly 12 if you include the prismatic piper and faceless one I guess these aren't really technically colorless commanders but there are decks on EDH rec with these guys what are these people doing I don't know I think it's very interesting though Currently, there is 11,518 decks in colorless on EDH Rack, and to no one's surprise, I'm sure that's going to put it right at the bottom. There is 27 different color combinations on this list, so of course, colorless is going to be number 27. The most popular colorless commander still is Kozilek the Great Distortion with almost 5,000 decks, but we also got Liberator Urza's Battle Thopter now on the list and the Peregrine Dynamo with 745 decks and 329 decks respectively so pretty decent turnout actually for colorless next up at number 26 probably again to no one's surprise is mono white with 26,493 and mono white from the last video was far and away the least popular one but this time has gained a lot of steam even though it is at number 26 we got commanders like Giada font of hope light pause emperor's voice both commanders that came out last year that are now the two most popular mono white commanders in the format we got a couple of other really great mono white commanders this year like mural shield of argive and preston the vanisher already gaining a lot of steam as far as popularity so I think this might be a number that jumps up even more in the near future. Coming in at number 25 this will probably be the first big surprise for everybody it's Abzan that's right a three color combination is coming in next only 28,359 so not even that much more than mono white and what is it about Abzan that people really don't like? I think it's a great color combination. Merkel Lord of Bones again a commander that just came out last year is currently the most popular commander here I will point out and I'm sure a lot of people will point out in the comments below that newer commanders tend to get a lot more attention and on EDH rec they only keep the data from like the last two years so these statistics do tend to lean a lot heavier towards newer commanders however people tend to play newer commanders a lot more right there's a lot of people that will see commanders that came out in the last year and the old commander they had for a deck will then get replaced so I think it does lean into the actual statistics of how things do work and if a certain color combination is getting lots of new commanders all the time it's going to keep up the popularity of that certain color combination and Abzan is just not one of them right as I said Merkel came out just this year Nethroy which is the second most popular commander in Abzan colors came out more than two years ago right almost three years ago it's been a long long time and then after that we got Gabe and Carador the third and fourth most popular Abzan commanders and those guys are really old so I just don't think Abzan gets enough love from Wizards of the Coast maybe coming in at number 24 is Mono Green 30,000 
2,688 decks on EDH Rack. And again, this might surprise people a little. Mono Green used to be probably maybe even the most popular mono color when I first started playing the format. I played against a lot of mono color decks. It has fallen off quite a bit. Finn the Fangbearer, currently the most popular commander in that color. That's a little shocking. 4,355 decks currently on EDH Rack. And then you got Ayula, Queen Among Bears, Marwyn the Nurturer coming up second and third. And those are commanders that have been out for quite a while. If I'm looking for commanders that came out in the last year, Baru Wormspeaker is the most popular one from last year in mono green with just over a thousand decks. Next up at 23 is mono blue, 33,188 decks on EDH rec. So this would be the third most popular mono color, right? And Orvar the Allform is now the number one commander in mono blue with 6,800 decks has finally surpassed Urza Lord High Artificer, which was the most popular mono blue commander for a long time. And again, if I'm looking for commanders that came out in the last year for mono blue, the reality chip would be the most popular one here. Pretty interesting. Definitely an interesting commander. Again, just over a thousand decks on EDH Rec. Coming in at number 22 is Selesnia. 35,404 decks. The most popular commander currently, Sithis Harvest Hand. Not a whole lot of surprise there. Over 8,000 decks for Sithis. And again, you have to look at the popularity of some of the most popular commanders in this color, right? If you have a couple of commanders at the top that are really, really popular, it's certainly going to push these colors up the ranks a little. But of course, Selesnya is not that high up the ranks. 22, which means Sithis is a huge chunk of the decks here. It falls off significantly after that. Kyler, Sigardian Emissary is number two in Selesnya colors with only 3,700 decks. And then once we get down to the number 12 commander, it's Torin's Fist of the Angels with only 1,658 decks. So a lot of these color combinations will be very top heavy. So it's interesting to look at what's the most popular commander. Is it a huge percentage of these decks? What is maybe the number 10 or number 12 commander? How many decks are there as well? Coming in at number 21, Gruel, 36,348. And I'm sure to no one's surprise, Tovalar, Dire Overlord is the most popular commander in this color combination with over 7,500 decks. Really popular commander in the format. Took over the top spot from Omnath Locus of Rage pretty quickly after it came out. Omnath Locus of Rage was not only the most popular Gruul commander for the longest time, but also was one of the most popular commanders in the format. Has really fallen off recently with only about 4,300 decks. Still really good, but I think there's just so many other landfall options for commanders now that Omnath doesn't get nearly as much love as he used to. Next up at number 20 is Jeskai. Our next three color combination. And again, this might surprise people a little. We got a couple of really popular commanders here towards the top. Kaikar, Winds Fury, 6,500 decks. Hanada, Dawn Crowned, almost 6,000 as well. So we do have some really popular ones there. Then we got Elsha of the Infinite and Narset, Enlightened Master with 4,100 and 3,900 respectively. So really, really good. But then again, it kind of trails off when you get to number 12. It's Ruhan of the Four Mori. Really old commander. Actually came out in the very first commander set. Has about 1,100 decks. So again, this is a color combination that I'm, I'm sure people would be a little surprised how unpopular it is. But again, this is another one that I think is very top heavy. Coming in at number 19 is Boros. That's right. Boros is more popular than Jeskai. It's more popular than Selesnya. It's done really, really well in the last couple of years. As we all know, 37,954 decks on EDH Rec. Used to be one of the most, in fact, it was probably the most unpopular color combination if you didn't include mono colors. It's gotten a lot of love in the last couple of years from Wizards of the Coast. Of course, Oscar the Reconstructor, Feather the Redeemed at the top here with 7,400 and 6,400 decks respectively. Really popular commanders ever since they first came out. Winota, Joiner of Forces coming in third here for Boros with almost 5,000 decks. I mean, you even have Zabaz the Glimmer Wasp. That's a little surprising. 1,800 decks on EDH Rec. I didn't think people would be going after that one. Again, though this is one for me that Wizards of the Coast was really concentrating on for a while because Boros had such a bad name in the format so they were giving us some really interesting Boros commanders and then now I think they're starting to back off a little bit like if you look at the most popular Boros commander from this last year Ryu Storm's Edge got over a thousand decks not too shabby again though there might be some recency bias there I think they've definitely backed off a little bit from giving
giving Boros as much love as they did for a while there. Coming in at number 18, Orzov. 38,160 decks. And for me, this is still a surprise. Lysa Shroud of Dusk is the most popular Orzov commander. That to me is a really big surprise. It is also a really big surprise to me that this is also the most popular commander from Commander Legends. I did not think people would be going after this one at all, but I guess it does fit a lot of different themes. It's kind of nice to have that cost reduction on your commander as well. The fact that it's more popular than Tesa Karlov for me is like, wow, really? Tesa Karlov just seems like there's so many different things you can do there. That was the most popular Orzov commander for a while. And if we look at the most popular commander from this last year, it was Elis Ilkor, Sadistic Pilgrim. Over 2,000 decks on EDH Rec already. This guy just came out in Dominaria United. I'm actually kind of surprised how popular it is. It is already the ninth most popular Orzov commander. I guess it's just a very open-ended ability, right? That you can do a lot of different things with. Coming in at number 17 is Mono Red. That's right. Mono Red is more popular than all those other color combinations I just mentioned. More popular than Orzov. More popular than Gruel. 38,216 decks on EDH Rec. And of course, still the king of Mono Red is Cranko Mob Boss. 9,600 decks. One of the most popular commanders since forever. And it still is. And it probably always will be. It really helps out with the numbers with Mono Red, right? When you have one commander that has almost 10,000 decks, that's really going to bump a color up the list, right? If you look at Mono Blue, for instance, which I'm sure a lot of people would be surprised. Again, Orvar only has 6,800 decks. That being the most popular Mono Blue commander, right? So having a couple of commanders in a certain color combination that are really, really popular is going to move colors up the list. Magda Brazen Outlaw and Torbran Thran of Redfell coming in second and third for Mono Red. And again, I want to check out what's the most popular Mono Red commander that came out last year. It's Jaxus the Troublemaker from New Capenna. 980 decks on EDH Rec, so not a bad showing for Jaxus. Next up at number 16 is Azorius, and this is one that for sure took a huge, huge jump from the last time I did this. This was, I believe, the second lowest next to mono white and now it's all the way up to 16 38,858 decks currently on EDH rec and of course a lot of that can be thanks to the newer Azorius commanders to me Azorius is the new Boros where Boros was really really hurting and unpopular so they printed a bunch of interesting commanders people like I think they did the same thing with Azorius this last year the most popular Azorius commander right now Shorakai Genesis Engine which of course came out last year already over 88 800 decks on EDH Rec, one of the most popular commanders in the format. We got Millicent Restless Revenant, which came out a little over a year ago, which has over 4,300 decks. We got Raynar the Ever Watchful, which is the fourth most popular Azorius commander, came out about two years ago, has 3,800 decks. So a lot of the commanders at the top of this list for Azorius are newer commanders. In fact, the seventh most popular commander in Azorius colors is Elminster, a Planeswalker with over 2,600 decks. And then the 11 and 12th most popular commanders in this color combination also just came out this year, right? So Ozorius got a huge boost in 2022 and that has moved it up this list a lot. Coming in at number 15, Rakdos, 39,804 decks. And as I've talked about on this channel so many times before, one of the most shocking things for me ever when it comes to judging the popularity of commanders is Prosper Tonebound. I didn't see this coming at all. It is one of the most popular commanders in the entire format. In fact, it is currently the eighth most popular commander in the entire format, 11,550 decks. That's pretty incredible for a commander, especially that I didn't even talk about on my channel at all until I talked about how surprised I was that it was so popular. People really like this guy. And again, because you have that one commander in this color combination with such a massive amount of decks, that's going to increase the popularity of this color combination in the format, right? We look at number two, Angie Falconrath used to be the most popular Rakdos commander for a long, long time. Huge drop off down to 3,900 decks, right? So big difference. In fact, this might be the biggest disparity of any color combination in the entire format. We're talking about almost triple the decks from number two to number one. That is huge, right? And again, if we're looking at the most popular commander in Rakdos colors from the last year, Raphael Fiendish Savior, doing pretty good. Already 1,700 decks on EDH Rec. I like it. That's a really, really interesting commander. And I had a feeling people were going to go after that one. Coming in at number 14, the most popular 
mono color and i'm sure this doesn't surprise a lot of people it's mono black 40,249 decks. Again, if I think back to when I started playing Commander, it was probably a toss-up between whether mono black or mono green were the most popular mono colors. I saw quite a bit of both. Crick, Son of Yogmoth, still the most popular mono black Commander, over 6,700 decks on EDH Rec. But look at Shieldred the Apocalypse coming on strong. This card did not come out that long ago. Just a few months ago, already over 3,100 decks on EDH Rec. It is entirely possible that we could see Shieldred take the crown from Crick at some point. Even Braid's Arisen Nightmare, which of course also just came out in Dominaria United. Already over 2,300 decks, so pretty fantastic showing there as well. Coming in at number 13, our next three-color combination, Bant, 41,442 decks. And Bant to me is a color combination that has always gotten a lot of love from people in the format. It's just a nice combination of colors, I find. You get the blue counter spells, you get the white removal, you get the green ramp you get lots of card draw from everybody it's just a really nice one of my favorite color combinations interestingly enough i don't have a bant deck right now that being said though arcades the strategist still the most popular bant commander with over 8700 decks people really like that defender tribal derevi imperial tactician really old old commander again from one of the original commander sets still has over 3800 decks really great commander still fifth in bant colors and again if we're looking at the newest edition here it's falco spara packed weaver just came out in new capanna already has over 2700 decks on edh rack so pretty fantastic showing there for a brand new commander next up at number 12 we got jund 43,227. and of course once again to no one's surprise corvald fey cursed king is number one and again by quite a wide margin not as bad as with prosper but over 10,000 decks on edh rec this was the most popular Popular commander in the entire format for a short time if people didn't know i think right after golos got banned i think shortly after that corvald became the most popular commander in the format for a little bit but has dropped in the last year currently the ninth most popular commander in the format but again having a commander like that with over 10,000 decks is really going to move you up the chain lord Windgrace, not too shabby either over 5,800 decks on edh rec is the second most popular jun commander and wouldn't you guess the third most popular jun commander Commander already is Henzi Toolbox Tori with over 5,000 decks. Wow. I didn't see that one coming. I mean, I, I think it's a pretty good commander. I talked about it in my best commanders of the year video, but already number three. And I mean, again, we've only been out for less than a year here. So it's very likely that it's going to be beating Lord Windgrace at some point and come in at number two. People really like this guy. Coming in at number 11 is Naya, 45,246. And again, I I think this is another situation where we just have such massive powerhouses at the top of this list that are sort of mainstays in the format that this color combination is never going to sink too low, right? We got Gishath, Sun's Avatar, and Atla Palani at the top of the Naya Mountain. They've been there forever. Gishath still over 7,700 decks. It's been one of the most popular commanders in the entire format since it first came out. Atla Palani as well, over 7,000 decks on EDH Rack. So again, not much of a disparity there, but you got two commanders with over 7,000 decks. That's going to make sure that Naya has a pretty good showing here. Rin and Sari coming in at number three, over 6,200 decks, pretty darn good. Again, that's another commander that has been a pretty popular mainstay in the format since it first came out. And again, number four is a brand new commander, Jetmir Nexus of Revels, already over 4,800. People really like this guy, not a big surprise there. At some point, are we going to see this guy move into one of the top two spots and knock out one of those other ones? I'm not sure. Only time will tell. Again, though, Naya had a really good year here. Ginny Faye, Jetmir's second, also came out this year already over 2,900 decks. It's the seventh most popular Naya commander. We also got Rocco, Cabretti Caterer, and Hazazon Shaper of Sand, both Naya commanders that came out this year. They're already really, really popular, over 2,000 decks each. And again, if you're looking at Abzan, like I was talking about, we got a bunch of really fantastic Naya commanders and not really a whole lot of awesome Abzan commanders. That's why Abzan is so low on this list, but Naya 
Maya still has a pretty good showing, right? I will point out though that New Capenna was the allied three color pairings, right? So Naya being one of those. Whereas Abzan is the enemy three color pairings, right? So we're going to have a little bit of a shift there because we got all of those commanders in those specific colors. Getting into the top 10, we have Teamer, 46,510 decks. And as I again have discussed on my channel before, to my everlasting surprise, Miram Sentinel Worm, the most popular Teamer commander now by quite a wide margin, over 9,500 decks on EDH Rec, already the 15th most popular commander in the entire format. And again, I had people saying, hey, where's Miram on your list of the best commanders of the year? I just don't think it's that great, right? I'm never going to back down from this. I just don't think this is a phenomenal commander. It's interesting. It's fun. It just really surprises me that you look at Animar Soul of Elements, which was the most popular teamer commander forever, now is second by quite a wide margin. Animar to me seems like a way more interesting commander, way more open-ended, a lot more you can do with it, even a lot more powerful. If you're looking for a powerful commander, Kalamax the Storm Sire, again, coming in at number three with only 5,500 decks, to me seems a lot more interesting and powerful and a lot of different ways you can go with it. Is there recency bias here? Do people just really, really like Dragon Tribal? Maybe they do. Along with Prosper Tomebound, Miram, Sentinel Worm is the most surprising turnout for a commander that I've ever seen, I think. Coming in at number nine, is it 46,641? And again, this is another one of those collar combinations where you just have a couple of powerhouses at the top. Niv Mizzet, Pear Run, and Varen, Voice of Duality, both with over 7,000 decks. So again, it's sort of that one-two punch where you have these two really, really popular commanders at the top that are really moving this color combination up the list. It does trail off a little bit after that. Joy Weather like Captain, which was a really, really popular commander and still is. I mean, 4,700 decks, that's pretty darn good, but has trailed off quite a bit. The Locust God, again, one of the most popular commanders in the format for a while, has shrunk a little bit down to 3,800 decks. But if we're looking at the most popular, is it commander from this last year? No surprise here at all. It's Gearson Star and Keller Morph, probably my favorite commander from the last year. I just think it's fun. It's interesting. It's unique. A lot of different ways you can go with it. I really think it's a fantastic design and I'm not at all surprised that is already the seventh most popular is it commander and I suspect it will only go up from there coming in at number eight is Simic and for all those thinking that Simic would be the most popular two color combination this will be a surprise for you it's actually not even close 47,892 decks for Simic. And really the most interesting thing for me here is the most popular Simic commander currently Icy Tyrant of Geyer Strait and Tatiova Benthic Druid used to be the most popular Simic commander. In fact, Tatiova was for at least about a year and a half, maybe two years, the most popular Simic commander. And when Icy came out, there was a lot of discussion about, well, is this better than Tatiova? I mean, it costs one more. It does get you that extra land. I like the life gain on Tatiova. I find that actually does become relevant in a lot of games, but there's absolutely no question as far as the commander community goes, which one's more popular. I see 6,670 decks currently on EDH Rack. Again, it's number one. Tatiova all the way down to 3,233, more than double the decks for I see. So by far, I think a lot of people probably even had Tatiova deck and just swapped out commanders, probably stuck Tatiova in the 99. One of the biggest misses for the year for me was Ivy Gleeful spell thief this is one that i just completely missed didn't mention it on my best commanders from dominar united and i certainly should have it is a really super interesting commander but what i missed apparently no one else did already has 3200 decks on edh rec even more popular than tatiova already and again i think it's going to even climb higher than that so easily the most popular simic commander from the last year coming up on number seven here and it's actually grixis with 50,358 decks pretty good showing and quick everybody what's the most popular Grixis commander just throw it out there let me know what you think that's right it is still Nekusar the Mind Razor unbelievable this guy came out in C13 he is like 10 years old now and still the most popular Grixis commander over 7200 decks on EDH rec man people really really love this guy he's not going anywhere and again when we talk about recency bias yeah there's a little bit there but a lot of people who think that the EDH 
rec stats lean more heavily towards newer commanders. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, here's a commander that's been around for probably longer than EDH rec has and is still the most popular Grixis commander. I mean, I think that says a lot about it, right? If you have fantastic commanders like this, people will continue to go after them no matter how long they've been around. Again, number two, Kest Ascendant Mage, over 6,100 decks. That's a commander that has been out for quite some time now. That being said, though, Grixis did get some pretty fantastic commanders this last year. Anello the Painter coming out in New Capenna, already the fifth most popular Grixis commander with over 4,600 decks on EDH Rec. And then we go down to the number 10 Grixis commander. It's Bellacore the Dark Master from Warhammer 40k with over 2,600 decks on EDH Rec. So Grixis did get a lot of love this year. We got Mishra, Eminent One, Ashnod, two fantastic commanders that I really like from Brothers War. Grixis got a lot of love this year, but still we have a lot of these older commanders that are holding top spots. So Grixis is not hurting for great commanders, not by a long shot. And that that is obviously why it is so high up on this list. Little bit of a surprise here though, coming in at number six is Saltai. Used to be the most popular three color combination in the format and isn't anymore by quite a wide margin. 52,517 decks on EDH Rec and not a big surprise, Muldrotha the Gravetide, still the most popular Saltai commander in the format, was the most popular commander in the entire format for quite some time, still has almost 10,000 thousand decks on EDH Rex. So again, that really bumps Saltai up the list when you have a commander with that many decks. Has shrunk in popularity quite a bit though, all the way down to rank number 12 in the commander format for Muldrotha. But again, this is one of those commanders that it just has such a powerful open-ended ability that it is always going to be one of the more popular commanders in the format. Yarok the Desecrated, again, same sort of scenario here, over 7,200 decks on EDH Rex, just a really powerful open-ended ability. So this guy's not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's look at the most popular commander from this last year. It's actually Tatsunari Toad Rider. And I made a deck for this on my channel because I actually didn't think this guy was going to be that popular. I thought it was a little goofy. I thought you were going in a lot of different directions with the Enchantment Tribal, sort of the Frog Tribal, a lot of different things going on here. But people really, really like this guy. It's a good flavor win as well, which I think people like a lot with their commanders. Already over 4,300 decks on EDH Rex. So far and away, the most popular Saltai commander from the last year. Coming in at number five, that's right, more popular than Saltai is Esper. 54,174 decks we have here, and the most popular commander, Alila Artful Provocateur, still hanging in there. It has dropped off in popularity quite a bit, though. This was like top five, I think, in the entire format for a while, all the way down to rank 26. 7,994 decks currently on EDH Rec. Not sure what the reasoning is for that. Again, Again, very open-ended ability. One of the reasons why people went after this commander right away. But again, speaking of staying power, Aloro Ageless Ascetic still hanging in there. Over 6,900 decks on EDH Rec, the second most popular Esper commander. And again, this is one from C13 that has been one of the most popular commanders in the format forever. I think it was number three when I first discovered EDH Rec. Really popular commander because that ability was just so open-ended. The fact that you could get an advantage out of it from just sitting in the command zone made so that you could use it as your commander for pretty much any Esper deck you wanted to put together. That's why, again, this guy has that staying power where it's always going to be way up there as far as popularity goes. Raffine Scheming Seer being our most popular commander from this last year, again from New Capenna, already over 4,300 decks on EDH Rec. And again, Esper was another color that got a lot of love this year, mostly because of the New Capenna color pairings, right? Because again, this is an allied color pairing. So we got Tivit, Seller of Secrets here, Keza, Augur of Agonies, 3,700 and 3,200 decks respectively on EDH Rec already. So Esper got a lot of love this year. We got Urza, Chief Artificer, already with over 2,600. Marnius, Kalgar, with over 2,600 already. Kamiz, Obscura, Oculus, already over 2,400 decks on EDH Rec. So that's why Esper is so high up this list. Again, when I say Esper is more popular than Saltai, people are like, what? That's crazy. 
crazy, but you look at all the love that Esper got this year. Bunch of great commanders from New Capanna, also some great ones from Brothers War, also some great ones from Warhammer 40k, right? So a lot of really fantastic commanders in Esper colors we got last year that are already really, really popular in the format. Coming in at number four is Golgari. That's right. And again, the reason why is because of those really, really top heavy commanders. It always has been a popular color combination in the format. Green and black just go so well together, I think. Currently 61,921 decks on EDH rec, but the top heavy commanders here really bump it up. Lathril, Blade of Elves. Again, I talked about this in my commanders that really have surprised me video, how popular they are. I'm still getting surprised by this commander. It is currently the second most popular commander in the entire format. Soak that in, everybody. I know people like this commander, but holy cow, second most popular in the entire format? 14,162 decks on EDH rec right now. Incredible. I never would have guessed that, not in a million years. And again, it's been two years already for this commander, so it has been out there enough so that the recency bias isn't really playing into it as much. Number two for Golgari, Chatterfang Squirrel General, over 9,000. Again, the 18th most popular commander in the entire format. I definitely thought this would be a popular commander. I didn't think it would be that popular though. So we have two really, really top heavy commanders here. But if we look at number three, it's Marin of Clan Del Toth, right? One of the old school ones coming in here with over 8,500 decks. So we still have these really old commanders that have been around for a long, long time that are still kicking up those stats as well. Of course, Marin was the second most popular commander in the format for a very long time. Has fallen off quite a bit but still hanging in there with 8,500 decks. And Golgari, unlike the other color combinations, has managed to stay really, really high on this list without actually getting a lot of love this year, right? If I'm looking for the most popular commander from the last year for Golgari, it's Baba La Saga. It's the 18th most popular Golgari commander. It's got 1,600 decks. So again, if you look at some of the other colors I've talked about, this is the 18th most popular black and green commander and has over 1,600 decks, whereas as a lot of those other color combinations, the 12th most popular commander, which I included in the count, had like barely over a thousand, right? So this really is an incredibly popular color combination in the commander format, and I think it always will be. Coming in at number three, again, a little bit of a surprise for people might be Mardu. 63,760 decks on EDH rec. And yes, despite the competition, Edgar Markov is still the most popular Mardu commander. 11,785 decks. Again, another one of those old school commanders that is still hanging in there. Still the seventh most popular commander in the format. It's just one of those commanders that people are always going to go after. It's always going to be a popular one, no doubt. But the new guard is here and it is Ishin Two Heavens is One, which is the most popular commander that came out in 2022. Already over 10,000 decks on EDH rec. That's pretty incredible, right? Hasn't even been out for a year yet and it is already the 10th most popular commander in the entire format. So again, if you're a little surprised by how high Mardu is on this list, we have the seventh and 10th most popular commanders in the entire format in this color combination, right? And after we get past that, Kalia of the Vast, 9,800 decks, right? So we have three commanders here in Mardu colors that have nearly 10,000 decks or more on EDH rec. That is huge, right? This is actually probably the most top heavy color combination in the entire format. It really falls off after you get past the top ones. The top three or four commanders in this color combination are really carrying it and pushing it way up the list. Coming in at number two though for me was by far the most shocking. I went through and I did all the calculations and then after I counted up which each color combination have, I started putting them in order of who's got the highest amount of decks and number two ended up being Demir. I almost fell off my chair. I'm serious. I couldn't believe how popular this color combination is in the format. That's right. It's more popular than any other two color combination or any other three color combination. It has 69,638 decks. It's actually 
by quite a wide margin in second place. And in order to figure out why, we have to go through the commanders here, right? So once again, you have Eureka, Tiger's Shadow, and Wheel Hout the Rot Cleaver, number one and two. And again, we have two commanders that are some of the most popular commanders in the entire format. Eureka, over 13,000 decks, rank number three in the entire format. But Wheel Hout, not too shabby, he's coming in at rank number six because he has almost 12,000 decks. So we have the third and sixth most popular commanders in the entire format that are in Demir Colors. That's pretty surprising, isn't it? So of course, a very top heavy color combination. I mean, you got two commanders here that just those two combined have almost as many decks as all of the mono white commanders, right? It drops off a little, but then we got Anuan the Rune Thief, which is coming in with 6,600 decks. That's pretty good for a third place commander. And again, if we're getting to the commanders from this last year, Satoru Umazawa just came out in Neon Dynasty already has over 6,000 decks. That's pretty impressive, right? Captain Nagarthrod just came out this last year, over 5,000 decks on EDH Rex. So again, we got a couple of older commanders that are keeping the numbers way up there, but we also have commanders that just came out this year. So Demir got some love this year as well. Again, the 12th place commander for Demir. So the last one I included in this list is Tasha the Witch Queen, another planeswalker and another commander that came out out just this last year already has almost 3,000 decks. If you look at those other color combinations, the 12th place commander was like just over a thousand. Here we're almost at 3,000. Demir is an incredibly popular color combination in the commander format. In fact, it's the second most popular color combination in the commander format. That was a big surprise for me, but I guess it does make sense. But what is the most popular color combination in the commander format? I think everyone should probably know if you've been playing the commander format for at least a few years. I've been screaming this for a while, and of course it hasn't changed since I did this tabulation a year and a half ago. It is the combination of five colors, or essentially all colors. 87,103, so it's not even close. I mean, five color just blows all the other color combinations out of the water. It's a massive jump there. And for those who are wondering, there's actually 36 five color commanders in the commander format. Now that's a lot to choose from. Big jump from when I first started playing the format. And still hanging in there at number one is the Ur Dragon, still the most popular five color commander with over 12,000 decks. And again, it is the fourth most popular commander in the entire format. And one of those commanders that is probably going to stick around and be likely in the top 10 for years and years to come. In second place though, we got Kenrith the Return King, who also also has over 12,000 decks. So you got two commanders here with over 12,000 decks. This is the only color combination that has that. Of course, Kenrith the Return King being the fifth most popular commander in the entire format. So very similar to Demir, where Demir has the third and sixth most popular commanders. Five color has the fourth and fifth most popular commanders in the format. But unlike Demir, five color doesn't trail off nearly as much. So the third most popular five color commander is a Sika, God of the Tree, over 9,300 decks. And again, it is the 16th most popular commander in the entire format. And the 17th most popular commander in the entire format, Goshinte of Life's Origin. Another five color commander with over 9,200 decks on EDH Rec. And of course, that would be our most popular five color commander from the last year. As I mostly correctly predicted, if you exclude Ishin, right, because that was sort of the anomaly there, I thought Goshinte of Life's Origin would be the most popular commander from Neon Dynasty. Other than Ishin, of course, it comes in a number two. It's also the second most popular commander from the entire year. No surprise there. We're still going on here. Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, a commander that's been out for quite some time now, still has over 8,000 decks on EDH Rec. And even if we move down the list, our 12th most popular commander is Tiamat, 4,500 decks, right? So again, we're looking at the 12th most popular commander in this color combination, and it has 4,500 decks, which is more popular than some of the most popular commanders in some of these other color combinations, right? So not even close when it comes to the comparison of color combinations. People really like, I guess, not having any restrictions at all when it comes to putting cards in their commander decks, because obviously that's the biggest advantage when playing a five color deck is you don't have to worry about what cards to put in there because you can put all of them, right? Not a real big surprise there at all. But other than that, what was the biggest surprise for you guys? For me, it was Demir. Demir coming in at number two, huge surprise for me there. I really didn't see that coming. 
coming. But once you start looking at those commanders, once you start looking at the numbers, you're like, yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? Having two of the most popular commanders in the entire format certainly helps a lot. Again, when you have a color that is really, really top heavy, that can move it up the list. But sometimes you have a color combination like Demir that is really, really top heavy, but also has a whole lot of other really popular commanders as well. What was the biggest surprise for you guys? Let me know in the comments below. But that is it for today. And thanks for tuning in.